Hello lovely viewers, welcome to Eben Tech Studio. Thank you very much for watching my videos online. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you an overview of our newly um, developed um, lyrics database for Easy Worship 6 and Easy Worship 7. So before I continue with this video, I would like you to click on the subscribe button, like the video, and then click on the notification bell to get notified of every content we put online. So without much I do, I'll just walk you through the overview. So um, actually this database is supported in Easy Worship 6 and 7 only. So it was developed from scratch with translations. And then from if the song is in G, you will get a translation in English and then in French. The reason for the translation is that uh, we just want to take the church to another level, like an international level where if you are doing a live streaming or you are showing lyrics, in the lower third in your live streaming people who are not um who don't who do not understand our local language will also feel part of the service by understanding the songs we sing in english and then in french so this database is um supported in six and seven so in as much as we are developing the database we put into consideration international viewers in case maybe you are running a chess service that is uh, a pi WC or a church that is um, both English service and then the local combined. Or maybe you might be having some visitors who might need to understand the songs that you sing. That is the purpose for this database so that um, in as much as the song is being projected, people in the auditorium will understand the gospel in the song. Okay, so, but bear in mind that Easy Worship is not a free software, so you can download the demo version from your website, um, which has the watermark, or purchase by subscribing to, I mean, their payment plans, and then you have the watermark um, removed from the projection. So, without much I do, this is just an overview of how the database is and how it's going to be used. So... I download Easy Worship 7 from the website. Okay, so this is a demo version I'm using or a free version. And you can use the free version for as long as you want because it is free. And then the only problem you are going to have is to, I mean, is the, is the watermark in the projection. So I continue. And then when you are ready to buy, you go on to their website and then subscribe to it and then you make you you subscribe to their payment plan and then you have it fully registered so that you can have the watermark away from it so now i'm just going to turn on my live and then i've intentionally brought my projector to my screen so that you can see what i'm doing so this um this is how the lyrics looks like uh, i've said it earlier that um it was built from scratch just to include many many songs and then it will be updated from time to time. It's still a work in progress. So one of the features about these lyrics is that we have tried as much as possible to maintain the original lyrics of songs. I mean, previously there were some mistakes in the typing of the lyrics, but this time around, going through again to, I mean, correct certain errors and then maintain the originality of song lyrics in the song database. So most of the time, the way we used to sing the song, we sang them wrongly. But this time around, the correct lyrics have been, I mean, have been tied into the database. And then it has also been properly arranged. So without wasting much time, let's try out one of them and see. So this is how the songs are going to look like. So 247, I will praise you, Jehovah. 247. I will praise you, my Lord. So a song like this, you are going to have it in English and then French. Because it's an English song, you are going to have it in English and then in, in French as well. And then a song like, this is a key song, common song that we have been singing. <speaking in Spanish> Okay, 
Nah, yeah. Okay, so you can see clearly that wherever we have a song like this and chorus, we have, I mean, added, um, um, how do we call it, the song labels, just to make it easy for the presenter or whoever is controlling the, um, the easy worship software to easily do that. And then it makes it more presentable because you know where you are moving from the verse and the choruses. And then it makes it easier. Now, for you, when you get hold of the database, what you have to do is that um, the first thing that you are supposed to do is the, um, which I call it the song labels or color coding, song labels or the color coding. Don't mind, I'm using Easy Worship 7 for this particular tutorial, but you can use Easy Worship 6 as well. You click on the edit. The first thing you are supposed to do before uploading the database, click on edit, click on option. And then when you have clicked on options, come to song tab under the main output, come to song tab, and then labels for important and color coding. Click on this arrow. And then when you are done with that, this pop-up is going to show. You see all of these things, um, bridge, chorus, there are colors assigned to them. Make sure that everything that we um, you have we have here, bridge, chorus, end, ending, interlude, intro, introduction, mics, outro, pre-chorus, refrain, slide, solo, tag, vamp, verse, others, and all of those things. Make sure you are going to add them. Make sure you add them. So if you don't have any of these things that I've mentioned in there, yeah, if you don't have anything, um, if you don't have any of these things that I've mentioned, for example, you open your labels and then you don't see end. Click on the add button and then type in end and then give it a color you want. Okay, give it a color you want. Why are you doing this? If you don't do this, the way we have made the color coding and then the way we have made the color coding over here, uh, the way we have made the color coding over here, you are not going to get it. So make sure you do the same and then choose, as for the color, you can choose any of them for it. The color doesn't affect the song lyrics color. For instance, you can see on my projector screen where the song, um, the key song is in white and then the English is in yellow and then the French is in turquoise blue. So with that one, you can change it. But if you want to change it, you can, then you have to go through the the process of changing the whole song lyrics color so i'm going to show you that but this one is for color labeling like the song labeling so a song like um abribia abribia or you nyame so a song like this um you will have the song in in uh, english translated and then the french translated but the colors are going to be in blue yellow and white so if you are moving from the french to the english is blue yellow and white and then if i'm reading from the top it is white yellow and blue that is when i'm reading from the tree to the french so that is it and then i'm going to show you one or two ways of i mean searching for the song lyrics okay so one or two ways of searching for the song lyrics so we are done with the song labels or the color coding for the songs. And then some songs, if you want to search for them, you see, because we have maintained the original song lyrics, you have to be very careful when you are searching for songs. Sometimes there are some songs like Owu, Owu, and then Owui, like us in, in our local language, Owu and Owui. They are two different words. So sometimes you might be searching for, oh, uh, maybe the, the song starts with Owui, it's a it's a key song like a kriapim key, and then and wherever the song if the song is written in the kriapim key, you can look at the author and then I mean the description here. Then you will see we have indicated time has been taken to write all of this, and so it will be indicated that this song was sung in a kriapim, and then the next of the song maybe in in Asante Tree, so that some of the songs we are comfortable with the singing it in Asante Tree, so. But the original song was written in, um, I mean, a kriapim or fancy. Now, when that happens, uh, time has been taken to rewrite the song again in Asante Tree, just like the way we have been singing it. Because no matter what you do, 
some of the songs we have sang it in Asante Kia, so it has lost the I mean the original original song um, language. So for instance, I want to search for Owe. So this is Owe. So a song like Owe, that is the it's not Owe. This is a song, the correct song lyrics. Owe ma me nyangwa. Owe ma me nyangwa. Ma ye ye be franco no ho. Oh, we, my man, you see, when I was singing the last line, I just said, Oh, we, my man, young quam. But the right song lyrics is, Neo, we, my man, young quam. So, like, it's trying to say, He that died for me to live. So, actually, it's because of you might not really sing the Neo, we, my man, young quam. So, that is how, and then if you are searching for a song, like uh, I, I will be moving faster because this is just an overview and then a song like oh sorry you see this is not oh we sorry this is oh sorry so a song when you are searching for the song um be very careful like uh, you search for oh we you didn't see search for oh like those kind of things and then try to see if you will be able to get them so oh sorry frank karim Oh, sorry, Frank Karim. Sawuji Esudia. Or something. Uh, oh, be sorry. Na ube nyankwa. If you amu emu. So that is, uh, I mean, Oh, we, and yeah, oh, I'm an amu. Amwa, amwa is pit, a dead pit. Like, they are the same key words, but there is amana and then there is amwa. So as I said earlier, the correct song lyrics have been maintained even though the previous song database has more songs than what is in here but this one is going to be updated often it will be updated often so you will just be getting an update of the newly added song to it and let me say this that this song database is for international churches every church every church so it's not only the local songs or pentacles previously we used to do it according to church i mean methodist then you have a methodist hymns and then you have a pentecostal songs the normal ones that we sing added to it by this time around we've taken off all hymnals away from no sda hymnal no church of christ hymnal no i mean um it's just pentecostal songs and then church of pentecost songs because most of the songs that we sing here in ghana are church of pentecost songs and apostolic songs those are the normal songs that we sing every song that you see a charismatic church singing those are the two either church of pentecost or apostolic and then other ones are like methodist common ones presby common ones yes or sorry okay so those are common common songs they are all in there so a database like this can be used for any charismatic or pentecostal church service any charismatic or pentecostal church service except that if you're a methodist church you can use it but your hymnals database is not part of this yet because those ones have not been translated and let me repeat this song lyrics um database was not translated according to uh, was not melodically translated it was translated by words like the understanding and the meaning so you can't sing along with the english translation or the french translation note that you can't sing along um, with the english or the french translation because it was not um, melodically translated it was I mean, the meaning, it was the meaning that is used to translate so that you can learn the words and then know the meaning of what, know the meaning of certain words. Like, because if you are to translate it me uh, melodically, some of the words, you might remove them and bring in another word just so that you can sing it in a rhythm way or you can sing it um, in its rhythm. But we don't want to do that. We want to learn the language as well, learn the language, know its meaning, and then you'll be, you'll be good to go, uh, understanding the key language as well. So uh, some songs are like fancy, fancy songs. They are very difficult to search for them in the database. So I put in here, for instance, where boo boo main portrait. You see, where boo boo, somebody will spell it like this. You search for it and then you may not get it. You may say that 
the song database doesn't contain that song. No, it contains it. But this is how the original song is. And then it's a fancy word. Obubu, that's how we spell it in fancy. Not like this. But in all case, anytime a fancy song like this appear and then we find it out that it will be difficult for the presenter to search for it. We repeat the original one and then we repeat the original... We repeat... We... we we enter the original song and then we duplicate the song with a common title such that in case they escapes the presenter or the one using the software to search for the song, you can search by a way of hearing the song. So let's go for a song like Where Boo Boo. So you search for this one and then you see it. Where Boo Boo mean portrait. Why mama family won't wear D. Fawdi near Nije. So for instance, we we have sung the song like where boo boo. We are singing it in tree, but the original song is in fancy. So in for this particular song, we've intentionally repeated the song again or duplicated. So even if you write where boo boo. You will still get it. You will st you are going to get webubu, webubu mean poetry. You will still get it, but you will get the original, um, the original song lyrics. But we just made the title webubu so that in case you forget, because this one is going to be it will it will be difficult for somebody sitting by the PC to to search it this way. You will surely search it webubu like W A to search for the song. So it is going to become difficult for you to search it that way. And then before I continue, let me just um, write this thing. A word like, this one, if you are to write it um, properly, is supposed to be like this. This is how it's supposed to be, well, boo boo. This is how it's supposed to be in our local language. If you have to write it, this is correct. This one is correct. But this is also correct. But the problem is that you searching for this one, most times we realize from the previous databases that um, people find it difficult searching for a song like this, like with comma and all of those things. So this time around, we have removed every comma from any song title. If a song is supposed to start uh, have a comma in there, we have removed it. So we just enter. So for instance, you want to search for webubu well, like this. You would have type W and then apostrophe A. We've removed that. Just enter W E. You are just to go. I, with a section of songs like I got. With the exception of some songs like I've got my mind made up and then I'm trading in my soul. Because those ones, they really, they sound, they, it doesn't sound like I've, I, have, I have got my mind made up. It's I've got my mind made up. So that is, those are the, I think, two of them that we've intentionally maintained. Two of them that we've intentionally maintained. So that is it for um, this particular uh comments that I want to make. And then a song like this one, which I think it will be difficult for people to search for. Um, let me see. Okay. Hey, 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 my Lord is good. Uh, okay. So for a song like this, this is how you search for it. So the, the W A hey, 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 my Lord is good. Hey, 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 my God is good. Everything a double double. So a song like this, you should be able to, I mean, search. So, and then let's move on to, okay, so this particular song is, uh, is in PG. And then when the song is in PG, to be translate to a proper English. So we have translated not only the, um, the three songs, but the PG songs too, we've translated them. And then let's move on to this particular song. Megachi Magbeo. So this particular song, we, we have been singing it at Crusade. 
um, especially the Church of Pentecost during Easter conventions and all of those things, they sing it often. So I'm going to play that particular song for you to listen to so that you get the song very well and then what the lyrics is, okay? So you, you, you heard a song. So how do you search for this song? Because most times people will ask that, ah, this particular song, I don't know the lyrics. I, I just want to search for it. Usually when they go for conventions or having a crusade in church and then outside the church, uh, some songs like this, it will be very difficult for you to search for them. So you enter Mega Chi Megbell and then you get your lyrics. And then let me put this thing across. Um, you see, this Mega Chi Megbell. So for... The air, don't spell, don't spell the air as in this word, this words, air and the all, those words, or don't enter them here. If any song will contain or just enter O, because we want to make it easy for you to search for the song lyrics on your keyboard, using your keyboard. So on your key, on your physical keyboard, you don't have all and then, and then we don't want you to delay when you are searching for the song. So we substitute all for O and then air for E. Just enter the E, and then when you have when you are done searching, you will still get the lyrics in the in the right distance. And then if you realize all the song titles are in uppercase, so you need not to worry about anything. And then the song lyrics itself to have been typed in uppercase. Why is it so? We want to make it visible, and then the alignment so that the song alignment is. Um, the song is properly aligned. The lines of the lyrics are properly aligned. And then we, because we don't want to make the screen, I uh, mean, cluster with um, lines of song lyrics, every line of song, uh, every song has lines, just one line. One line of the song lyrics is just projected with the, I uh, mean, the, the translations, okay? So every song has a single line. So you may see the, the song lyrics, plenty in the database because we've broken down the into lines the song lyrics are into individual lines and then let's go to uh this two is one of the songs wajimi mobodo ara this is a fancy song and this is how we spell it wajimi okay so as i said for instance somebody might search for this wajimi and as i said a, a song like this wajimi um, like this, you no. Know, it will be very difficult for the person to search this song, but the song is a fancy song. So I'm going to play the song for you to listen to. Then you get what I mean. The listen to the song and then you get the song. Watch him, watch him, so you hear the song okay so this is how we spell it this is the original song like the title is infanti the song is a fancy song the song is a fancy song and therefore it is infanti so you <laughs> the the actual title is so what jimmy i'll just spell who, there's a fancy word, Wajimi Mobudwara. So, like, this is how the song is. It's a Pentacles song, yeah. It's a Pentacles, Church of Pentacles song. And then, you see, we have Washe Jesus Ohene. This one too is, I think, one of the theme songs of Pentacles song. Washe Jesus Ohene. So, for this song too, you search by using the O. But as I said earlier, um, because we don't want it to be too difficult, because you controlling the PC, it will be very difficult for you to start a song that you hear in your way, in your ears. The um, people are minist uh, ministering the song, and then they are singing, Wajimi Bodwara. And then you, you, it's likely for you to start searching by typing W A. So we, we've maintained that also. We've maintained that so that in case, should in case, you go and search for 
I mean, you type the WE, you will still get the, the lyrics because it's likely, but you get the original song lyrics. So the title is just to help you search for the song quickly, okay? And then uh, a song like Washe Jesus on Yeni too, that same thing. Washe Jesus on Yeni, Washe Ryan wanna do. You see, and then you can, if you know the the right distance to, you can search. One say Jesus, and you still get the song. So the titles have been, have been uh, we have two titles to a song. You will still be able to get that same song using that title. It has just been maintained so that it makes it easier for you to search. And I realized that songs like, Where my lemly, where my lemly, I'm a, um, um, let me, whatever, whatever, whatever being the case. Where my lemme is a gun song. Okay, this particular song, it is where my lemme. Maybe you might start searching by typing W where my W E I or something, and then you are not getting it. So I just want you to I just added this one to the overview so that the comment for the overview so that you'll be able to get out to spell some of the songs. So where my lemme starts with nw nw aha uh -huh, nw because this particular song it will be very difficult for you to search for it maybe you might enter you might start with we but it is is n so as i said earlier we have maintained correct spellings and then correct song lyrics so you can work your i mean your your choir through the database so that they get to know how to sing the original song lyrics because most of the songs that we sing they have been distorted but even though they make sense some of the songs make sense even though the lyrics the original lyrics have been distorted but they still make sense so a song like this we, we have it let's let's move on to the next one this is just a short overview my name is Mojano. Okay, okay. So as I was saying, minim se mojano. So for a song like minim, minim, minim in Asante Chi is spelled as M E N I M. But when you come to Equiapem, it's M I N I M. That's how we spell minim or minim like those Equiapem. This is how we do M I. But in Asante, it's M E. So you need to. Maybe some of the songs are starting with or beginning with ME. But you try ME, you didn't see it. Possibility that the song was typed in um, in Ekriapem. So search for MI. And then I'm just teaching you how you'll be able to search for the song. So Minim Semo Jano. Minim Semo Jano. Minim Semo. So for instance, when you come here, you see I've just put here copyright or uh, at the column so that you'll be able to see, even though here is not a copyright, but I've just entered the original. Original Equiapem, meaning that this, the original song lyrics was written in Equiapem language. So, me nim se mo jano, me nim se, me nim se mo jano di mami, debi mi ira, oh wo di ano so, me nim se mo jano. So, you see, we have verses in the songs. So, just as I said, if you don't do the labeling, the first thing, you will not have the labels. Though you have the song lyrics, but it will not be organized like the way you are seeing it right now. Okay, so now let's see uh, Minim. You see that same song has been, I mean, the title, there are possibilities that the one using will search in a Santipi or Minim, you may type it M-E-N-I-M. Yes, any of them, that any of the titles you use, you still get the lyrics. So that is how it has been made. Now, if you if some of the songs start with MI and then you search for MI, you don't see, you search for ME and, and try to see. If it is not in it, some of the songs, if they are not in it, you can email me or um, then send some of because the song will be updated. I've told you, um, as it stands now, it's about 770 songs. So, and every song, every line of song have been translated. It has not been an easy task. Okay, but in all cases, we will still be updating the songs to a point in time where maybe the update will stop. But um, if you want to add your own songs, I'm going to teach you that how you'll be able to add your own songs. So in some songs like a song starting with or maybe containing the word or phrase numo, numo. 
You see, Numo, people might spell Numo like this. Maybe you searching for the song Numo or something or Numo. So I just have to add this particular line comment so that you'll be able to search for the song. So Numo is spelled like this. So when you search for a song and then you are not finding it, uh, Numo, this is how you spell it. So you, the presenter, you have to learn the rules on how to use this database. So that you don't skip any song that is maybe somebody sings. Why? Because this um, song database is not, I mean, developed for a particular church. It's for everybody. So you have to learn the rules we have put in place to be able to use our database. Other than that, you cannot use the database because the spellings and all of those things, it is uh, in the manual of the database. It's part the rules on how to search and all of those. You have to read, take time and read and then get the concept so that when any song is starting with Numo, you know that Numo is N-Y-O. And then, before I uh, I forget something, let's add this. Hallelujah. So, the key song, some of the songs start with, um, a, the key word for Hallelujah, this is how we spell it. So, bear in mind that every song or any song, that is, uh, is, that is a key song or a local song. That has uh, that begins with Hallelujah. The Hallelujah is spelled this way, so you have to learn the rules. The rules are part of the of the database manual. This is just an overview for how the database is going to be like, how you can use it, and all of those. So Hallelujah. But there are some of the song. There are some of the song. Uh, there are some of the song that the writers intentionally write Hallelujah in H A L L. In English, like even though it's a local song, so a song like this, Hallelujah, 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 Uyo nyame onsa cherada, Hallelujah. So you can see the Hallelujah, A L L L U A, and then Hallelujah in English as J E H, and then in French. Now, one of the things we did not maintain is that. In English, hallelujah can be spelled in two ways. One of them is ending with Y-A-H and J-A-H. Now, across the song database, we just use this one. So, the, we just, everywhere you see, you wouldn't see hallelujah this way. But you are rather going to see it as this. So, if you are using the database, don't spell hallelujah this way. We want to make it easy for you to present. So, we have just maintained only one type of hallelujah, which is this one. This one. As far as the English is concerned, if you are searching any song that begins with hallelujah, search it this way. Except that the writer intentionally spelled it A-L or something else. Uh -huh. But even if the writer wrote the song hallelujah as this, we've converted all of those things. We wrote we type them in in J A H. So you have to know that. And then let's move to a song like um or sorrow and then sorrow. So some of the song we, we usually don't pronounce the O starting beginning with a song like or sorrow and then sorrow. So those are some of the differences you have to know. Sorrow above for tunyum the debi. So, for instance, maybe the song might sound like Osorabofu. So you might search Osorabofu, but you are, you are not getting. Search for Osorabofu because that's the word. Osorabofu, so you may be. Hallelujah, Wasoro. NEJ, Wasoro. Asunje, Wasoro. NEJ, Wasoro. So, this is one of them. And then let's see if you can get Osoro. And then a song like this, like I said, also maybe somebody might start by singing also rebu bro sambra by so rebu bro. That is the right song. Me kra dubio, me kra mubium. Sorry, you see we have been singing me kra do, me kra dubium, but the original song lyrics is me kra mubium. So rebu bro, bra me so. This is the right song lyrics. So now <laughs> the problem with this database is that uh, take time to listen to me the problem with this database is that you are going to project original song lyrics where your church choir will be singing the wrong song lyrics so whether uh, 
Sore bubro sabra. Me krasubyo. Sore bubro sabra. That is how your choir is going to sing it too. If they don't learn original song lyrics, that is how they are going to sing it. But you will be projecting. Bra meso. You see, so those are going to be the minor challenges and difference when you are using this database. I mean, those are the challenges you are going to face because we have tried as, as much as possible to just maintain the original song lyrics. Okay. So, my main name soldier, a free cell yoja. So, <laughs> excuse me, that is how um, the song is going to be. So, and then let's see if we can search for a solo. Okay, so a song like this. It's not Sora Yimemu. This is Osoro. So as I said, you see, I started searching with O, not the O, because O is not on your keyboard. So just enter the O, you are going to get the lyrics. So Osora Yimemu. Wakro wa simu nina. Abofu e chani weshia. Wako to sorry no da. You see, a song like this um, started with O and then you have it there, so so just get to know that. And then songs like Owan Weni, maybe Owan Weni, you might type it as Owan Weni, but the word is on Owan Weni. So this is how Owan Weni is spelled O N. So I have to let you know some of the spellings. And then a year one 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 one, and I say. Ah, one, one. So if I don't walk you through this one, you might not be able to get the spellings right when maybe you get hold of the database to use. This is just an overview. Uh -huh. This is just an overview. So sometimes when you are searching for some of the song, So, and then let's move on to how to search when you don't know the title of the song, but maybe it's missing you. So this is what you can do. Eh? Number one, um, click here. When you click here, it will search within any field. So for a song like, I want to find out a, a, any song that is starting with on one when or that has on one one. So a song like this. I want one dobini. I want one dobini. I want one dobini. O dobini. Many years what na? Many na nante? Ma fa Jesus eh? Madam Fopa. I want one dobini. dobini. So for a song like this. So most times, um, one thing is that. The, let me add it here. There might be mistakes, but it will still be updated and will be corrected. When you find a mistake in there, you can send email or WhatsApp and then it will be updated. Uh -huh. But you can still correct it on your own if you want to do that. So, I mean, let me put a comment here there. The database is not 100% perfect. So get to know that even though we have taken time to, I mean, type this song lyrics, translate them, but it is not 100% perfect. You might find some mistakes in there. But we have tried as much as possible to maintain correct words and then lyrics. But sure, it might not be. We might miss so many songs. That is why I said so many songs have been missed. They are not yet in but we've maintained the common ones that we have been singing all the time. And then I can say that if you should use this database and then a person should sing 10 songs, there are, there are possibilities that out of the 10, you will get six in it. Uh -huh. Except maybe singing other songs or foreign songs, which are different, different, because much of the foreign songs have not yet been included, even though they are some in there, especially the hymnals, the hymnals are in there, but 
it's not all the foreign songs that have been done yet. So from time to time, it will be updated. And then you can search for this. And then some of the songs too, you might be finding difficult. Maybe it is an uh, it is a West song or Gan song. And then you want to search for it. So you just come to uh, Alter. Okay, when you select this one, this I will come to, I think, Alter, yes. And then Enter Airway. And then it will just give you all airway songs that we have done. So some of them. This song, I cannot really sing it. So now you can search. Maybe they are singing this song. And then you, the presenter, you don't even understand airway. You don't know how to search for airway. Let me see if I can sing this song. Or something. So that is the song I actually don't know. And a song like Abunsam Tete Yilegbonye, Telegbonye, Telegbonye. So you can get some of the thing. Alevisi Oula. So for instance, uh, if I'm using this database, some of the songs, even though I do them, but um, I may not be able to search for them. So I just search for airway then because I indicate airway. Then I can quickly browse through just to get the lyrics and see, okay. Then the next time I learn how to, I mean, search for those songs. So a song like Enyo, 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 To. Ha. So Christo, To, Micho, Asi, so for instance this um you, you might find it difficult to search and then if it is gone to so this is how you will be doing it so for the gun just go through even though some of them will be popping up but just go through the ones that have gone in there and then maybe you might not know how to search for it so she le no ye bafi. So for instance, a song like this, maybe I might forget about the title. I don't know how to search. I'll just enter gun at the other side. I'll just enter gun at the other side and then browse through quickly to see if I can get a song uh, any song that is um starting with gun or something. Let me see if I have something like this fancy. Aha, uh -huh, this particular song. Let me just let me just brief you on that. And in Cynthia Mudo Jesus, this particular song is going to be difficult for people to search. Why am I saying that? We hear it all the time. People people sing it in church. Now also me bo can You see, this song you will not be able to search it easy. So let me add it. It's part of when you get the comments and then you are reading, you will be able to walk through the the rules in searching so that you you may ana inim. This is a fancy song. So if you don't learn how to search it, Cynthia Modo Jesus. So this is the song. So as you use it continuously and then you follow the rules which are added to you, you it will become it will um, it will come at your fingertips and then you the moment they start singing the song, you know that oh this song, this is how is the title is or this is how it's being spelled. Maybe you you might not know. Anna enim central me do Jesus. Na also me bo kasi ye. Oh Sunday Majin Kwashirano. Wa ba for a team me fury bonimo. So you see the chorus, everything has been I mean, arrange properly for it to be easy for you. Ain't he no more than Jesus? Ain't he no more than no? Ain't he? This one, if you are not careful and then you are spelling it in key. Ain't he is fancy. So I've typed this thing in fancy. Ain't he? So that is the original song. Maybe you might go and spell it as, and then you are searching for. Ain't he? Ain't he? This is a fancy key. Ain't he? But if you want to get it, then you have to put S somewhere here. Ain't he na mado Jesus? Aha, Asante would have been Ain't he na mado Jesus. But Fanti is mado. Like those of you who understand Fanti, that is it. Fanti is mado. So 
And then for some songs, Miyao Abrenina. So this song, this particular song was, and then some of the songs were sung in, originally sung in Fanti. But I've also typed it in um, Asante Chi. So, Miyao Abrenina. Don't for a wuradze. Bribi in the de. This is fancy. Myself, I'm not able to uh, read the lyrics now. Okay, so this is the original lyrics. And then when you come to the fancy, that same song, Miyao Ember Nina. But that is the song itself. But you will find it because some of us will be singing it in Asante Chi. We can have Miyao. Abrenina, so we have also included this, this one. So you can see Miyao Abrenina and then Miyao Abrenina. So the Radze, okay, this one I'm going to correct it. A Radze Z is supposed to be part, and then um, Miyao Abrenina, don't fall a Radi, any B in Tessa one, Emma Sungi, but the fancy song, the fantasy Bribi. In the, there wo, in the ah like there is nothing similar to your voice there is nothing like your voice and some of these songs were picked from hymnals english hymnals and then they were translated methodies and all of those things the sacred songs and solos were translated into fancy songs and then uh, tree songs so some of the hymnal songs that we we sing in tree they were translated so this is how i mean you'll be able to search and then the last one i want to talk about before we end this overview after this is just an overview not really a tutorial it's just an overview but even though i've included tutorials in there so this is what we do editing the song okay for instance if you find anything that you want to edit Hmm, this is where the problem is going to come from. You want to edit the song. You want to edit the song. So, a song like this. Um, I bear my I bear my I bear my I So, you want to edit this particular song. Yes, right. Click on this song. Click on edit. Now, this is all you are going to do. Um, I don't know how you want to edit it, but you can use the backspace key to edit the song. Edit it this way. Maybe if you have a song, maybe a line of song that you have identified that here is a mistake. Do not, for instance, do not copy like this and come and paste it here. Maybe let's see this one. You find out that this one is, um, is supposed to be this word. And then you copy and you paste. Do you know what you have done? You have altered the colors. So it is going to be like, and then maybe you have changed the translation. That's fine. But you have altered the colors because when you paste, the moment you paste, Easy Worship will just rewrite the colors. And then it will change the colors to white again because that's the default color. So God's uh, God and then, then wherever you pasted will become white, meaning that you have to select it again and then choose yellow to fit it, and then you press the you click on the OK. So you can do it this way, and then you select the color. So when you have pasted, then select the color, highlight it, and then paste. So for instance, I added this one, it has become white. Select it. And then choose blue. So I think the color we use is this one, turquoise blue. So we use two colors: one, this white, yellow, and then turquoise blue. So this is how you'll be able to edit. But I would prefer doing it this way: cleaning and then entering, so that it follows the color code. Simple as that. But you can do it the way I showed you. And then if the color change, you select and then you add the color to it and now how do you add your new song or your own song as usual this is how we add songs to there is no magic behind it this is how we add songs to easy worship okay you click on the plus symbol or you can come here new create new song it's still same and then you enter chorus or if it is a verse you enter verse 
So the color coding that we did initially from the beginning, this is how it's going to take effect. And then maybe this is your song. Yesu. Mo. So now if you want to move to the next uh, line, press enter. And then you say, oh, congratulations, Jesus. Well done. You Let me just make it. Well done. If you want to add your own song and translate, well done, Jesus. And then maybe you want to add French. Hmm? So if you want to add French, so if you want to add French, so bravo, Jesus. You can, because it's a name, you can, Jesus is a name, you can make it Jesus or make it apostrophe E. That is a, in French. Jesus is apostrophe, but this one too is correct because it's a name. And then you give your title, Yesu Mo. And then when you are done, if you want to leave it this way, that is fine for you. But if you want to give it color just like the way I've been doing, I've done it. This is what you are going to do. As for the first one, it's still right. So select the second line. And then you select yellow. And then select the third line. You select turquoise blue. And then you can duplicate this cell. Uh, you can duplicate this slide. Or maybe you have verse 2. Or chorus. You let's, let me call it chorus. And then here is mo, mo, mo. You add something. Or you want to clean everything. And then maybe mo, 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 mo. So, well done. And then you, you press enter, well done, and then bravo. So, this is how you are going to do. So, well done. You select the well done again. You know, then you choose yellow. Then here you select, if it is white or whatever, you select and then you choose your turquoise blue. But you can choose any color. We have intentionally done it this way. And when we are going to display it on a, a black background on a screen. So, it makes it visible. You can, you can, uh, I mean, just maintain the color that we have used so that it follows in that pattern. So that whoever is reading from the screen will just maintain an eye contact that, uh, I mean, the blue are the French translations, the white are the key, and the yellow is the English. When the song is in key, so I will talk about that. When you are done, so for instance, a song like this, and then when you are done, you click on OK. So you go live. You go live. Your song is done. Uh -huh. But this one, I'm going to remove it. Or if you want to edit, you right click and then you choose edit. I'm going to delete this particular one. So now, what else? Um, I was about saying something. I just forgot. It just skipped me. Because this is not a planned tutorial. So it just skipped me. Ha, thank you, God. That I've remembered. Now, watch very carefully. So, a song like this, you can see that in my heart. So, when the song is in, is an English song, the English lyrics will become white, and then the French will become yellow. It will pick up the yellow color because that's how we did it. So for instance, this, this is it. So I, I type this one in my heart. You type the French and then you select and then you give it a yellow color. You can see the colors have been selected just like the way. And then when I click here, it changes to white because I give it that color white. And then uh, it's not a small way cool. Uh, so it's, it hasn't been an easy job doing this. So when you are done, this is what you can do. I mean, and then when, um, let me just continue. When the song is in uh, French, uh, sorry, local language. So a song like this, you see, because it's in a key song, the white, we just give the key lyrics white and then the English yellow and then the french blue so this is the pattern 
the pattern of the song. So when you get a database, read the manual, read the code, uh, the code rules. I mean, to using this. So, and then there are other common, common songs that we have been singing. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be after the dice for any international church that is operating in Ghana or I mean outside, except that because we have our local songs more in them, uh -huh, that is going to be the challenge. But international because of the translations added to it, translations added to it. So, PIWC, any church that you want to use. So, Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, it's just an overview of the of the database that um, is to to be released, and then all the I've told you it doesn't contain every song, but most of the common songs have been included. Every time it will be updated. Every time it will be updated. Okay, so most of the songs will be included from time to time till we stop doing the updates. And then you yourself, you'll be adding your own songs. That is the formula I've showed you. Okay. So, I mean, this is how you do it. So, thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. Stay blessed. And then you can contact um, from, you can contact a Ben Tech Studio for any, let me add this. I mean, if you, If you need Maybe you want uh, us to organize a song database for you specifically, like the, in a way you can contact. If time is there, I mean, if you want it to be arranged in a way, you can just contact a bit next studio. And then for the database to be released, just um, yet to be released, contact a bank text studio through email and then through WhatsApp. Stay blessed and then God bless you. Bye bye.